Hey, so this tutorial is going to be about custom light shafts. So right now we don't have it and now we do. So if you're curious how to make custom light shafts, uh, you're in the right place. Full disclosure, this is essentially the exact same as the fog material. Um, I just use a different texture. It's Perlin noise, uh, a starter content that comes with the starter content. Um, so if you've already made that material, just use that, throw it on a cylinder and it'll work just like it does in this tutorial. But if not, um, follow along. Okay, so let's get started. Go into contract drawer and we are going to make our light shaft. So click, right click, go to material and let's name this light shaft. Um, if you're a little laggy, feel free to go to unlit mode. It's going to help you move a little more smoothly um, less things for the computer to process, but as you can see, the camera is still going to be seeing um, with light being processed real time. Cool. So now that's, that's done. Let's open up the light shaft and open up all the way. So first, let's right click and do a texture coordinate. Then we can do a parameter nose. Uh, parameter node and let's call this oh didn't like that and let's call this cloud size and then right under it we can do a time node and then s click again for a parameter node and call this time multiplier if I spell things wrong, don't judge me. Uh, we can do a multiply on both of these, and then we're gonna go into a panner. Now we're gonna bring in our texture. If you listened to me in the very beginning and included starter content, this should pop up. I don't know if it pops up without starter content, um, but either way, it's called Perlin Noise. Um, type it in, yeah, it's, it's part of the start of content, it says it right there, um, and bring it in. Uh, we're going to copy and paste, so we have two. And let's start connecting things here. So Cloud Noise into Multiply. Um, coordinate for the coordinate and then time for the time. And we're going to actually connect these two. So top one's going to coordinate, bottom one's going to time, and then both of these are going into the UVs. Now we're gonna do one more parameter. Let's call this cloud contrast. And then let's do a texture base, or sorry, a uh, power node. So let's do Power, power, and reset. Let's do one more add, and then there's going to be multiply later on, but right now this should work. So we're going to put in the exponent. Um, either these are going to go in together, and they're both going to go into the add. Now we can move backwards and add in actual numbers for the parameters. Time multiplier, we can do a default of one. And then cloud contrast, we can do three. And cloud size, we can do one. So one, one, three. And then for this, I'm just gonna do negative a one, negative o six, nope, negative o dot o six. And then negative, sorry, a one. And then this one can be, no, nope, negative 006. Sorry, again, just 006, no negative. Cool. Now highlight, press C, and let's name this cloud noise. And you're set. Then you can move all of it across. Uh, 
Next one, further fades or fades. Uh, let's do. So you got pixel depth. Then we're going to do a parameter node called depth fade distance. And then let's do right click and do divine. And then saturate. And we're set there. So let's add all these in. And the depth fade distance will be 1024. We'll name this depth fade. Now let's do the emissive color. We're going to do a vector parameter and a parameter node. Call this one color intensity. Uh, let's do a multiply node and then we can just sit pretty like this and plug all these in. You are going to be made into pure white and then color intensity's default value will be 20. Do another multiply node and plug you in, but let's just do you C and name you emissive color. Cool. Now we are on to the very last section. So we're going to do one multiply right here, bring you guys in together, and then get started on the last section. So let's do a parameter node, and we're going to call this geo depth. Faded distance. Let's do a depth fade. A saturate. And then let's plug everything in. The next one is going to be a another parameter node. And we're gonna call this from cell exponent. And then a vertex normal WS. And bring that into a Fresnel. Exponent, exponent, normal and normal. And then you are going to be a one minus. And then one minus is going into a remap value range. Where we're going to do a constant, copy, paste the constant, and then two parameter nodes. The first one is going to be Fresnel min. Fresnel max. Then you are going to be one. And we'll add all of you in one at a time. And then you are going to go to a saturate. Create a saturate. And a multiply. So you and you. Cool. Now for the end, we're going to go over here. Uh, you're going to be surface, you're going to be translucent, and you are going to be unlit. And then I'm going to plug you into opacity, you into emissive color, and bring the saturate over into you. Now the Fresnel exponent will be 0.3. The geodet fade distance can be 1000. Um, let's highlight, click C, and call this further fades. And then the Fresnel min will be 0.2, and the Fresnel max will be 0.5. Actually, Fresnel min will be zero. And there you go. 
apply, save. Now what we're going to be doing is adding in cylinders. So let's go up here um, and go into shapes again and let's do cylinders. And we're going to make just giant cylinders. Now we can take you and I'm kind of just going to throw these in shining areas to give a nice little bit of emphasis on where light is. And then now we're going to go up to the content. Let's change you over to a material instance so we can make grand changes to everything. And let's add in. And as you can see, we now have some light beams coming down because light beams are really just fog. And we can adjust the actual angle, how fast it's moving, all that different stuff, how much contrast it has. So now I can actually click on it, double click on the instance, and make some changes. So the cloud size can be smaller. I actually kind of like it bigger, but let's change the contrast to maybe two. That's five. There we go. That looks a little better. And the time multiplier, let's maybe make you 0.5. So it moves nice and slow. And then now with it moving slow, it doesn't bring as much attention to itself. So I can maybe go back to two. Four. And there you go. You now have custom light beams in your scene. Hope you guys like the tutorial. Um, like, subscribe, and comment if you have any questions.